Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you work inside an IT organization or if your company has an IT organization that needs to control and manage computers remotely, you should be using GoToManage from Citrix. They've been a sponsor of ours for quite a while. And recently, we've been helping our community with their remote problems to show you how easy GoToManage is to use. You can go to gotomanage.com, use the coupon code PERILLO45 to get a 45-day unlimited trial without entering credit card information to see how easy it is for you to use. We're going to use the iPad conduit. This is free software that you can use in conjunction with your GoToManage account because Hector in Schenectady has been asking how to set up a network share or a network drive within Windows. So Jake, why would someone want to set up a network drive? Well, in all of the IT environments that I've worked in, people set up a network drive because it is a resource that is not local to their computer, that is out on a server somewhere typically, that they want to reconnect to every time they sign in. So rather than having to browse and find it every single time that you want to access it, you map a network drive, and then as you log into Windows and, and credential yourself on the network, it automatically connects that resource so that it, you can explore it as if it was a local drive. So you have traditionally the, the primary hard drive is the C drive, but you can map the Z drive to share documents throughout the network. Yes. Okay. So assumedly uh, that I remember, it's easy to do inside of Windows, at least Windows 7, and that's yep. Hector's machine. We've connected to it here. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, all you need to do is you go to the, uh, if you have the computer icon there or, or from the start menu, Go to computer and then right at the top you're going to have map network drive as one of the options and click on it and uh, it looks like it's it's asking us to uh, sign up the y drive uh, but i mean you can pick any letter of the alphabet that is available uh, there's a big big long list it'll tell you which ones are already taken C certainly like you know the, um, the the c drive would likely be taken or yep. if there was a cd drive it may be the the d or e or etc and then and then you select which folder that you want uh and you you click the browse button and it'll it'll show you the available resources on the network um apparently your, your ipad doesn't like my my finger but. i think you got a fat finger dude because i have no problem no, it's, it, i think the reason why is hector's network's moving a bit slow like there it is but there's the network uh, that he's got here, these yep. are the computers on his network, so we can go ahead and then show him where he would want to map to. Of course, I don't and, know and too drive, much more about that. And I should point out that drive, when it's a network drive, depending on how much of the the server's resources are shared, it could be all the way up at the, the server level so that everything under it is shared. It could be a specific folder. Or oh, it, even a folder. Yeah, okay. it could be it could be a folder on the on the server that's mapped see, to that drive. See, I haven't done much uh, drive mapping because most of what I've done has been you know in my home environment. I've never worked uh, specifically at the enterprise level as you have. So it's really really simple to do uh, for anybody to set up. And, and, you know, when you're we're not talking about situations where I you know m much like you might be in uh, where we control one or two computers. We're talking about scaling up to dozens, hundreds, thousands of computers, and that's where GoToManage really shines. We're using the iPad conduit. You could use the desktop software as well. Jake, he's not used to the iPad. He's an Android user, so you kind of have to forgive him for that. I mean, you in this like instance, it's a handicap. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying that you 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 have to once you figure out how easy the iPad is to use and the screen and the elegance. It's really easy to tap around, like you're sitting right there in front of the computer itself. And that's that's that's. I also have a problem of, of automatic faucets don't turn on for me. So maybe it's some sort of like. <laughs> really? Yeah. You have a, you have ghost I'm, hands. Yeah, is that apparently. It? Well, you don't have to worry about that with GoToManager, the software that Citrix provides. Again, if you are in an IT department where you have to manage computers remotely, whether you're managing Macs or Windows machines, whether you're in a, an organization that manages dozens or hundreds, thousands, give GoToManager a shot. You will see just how extensive the tool set is. This is just scraping the surface. Controlling a computer is just the beginning. I haven't even gotten into the ability to go in and script certain things uh, so that when something happens remotely, you're notified right away without being in front of the computer, without being directly connected to the computer. You can set up agents to go and monitor these systems. That's a, a future video. You'll have to stay tuned for that. Go to manage.com, the coupon code Perillo45 for a 45 day unlimited trial without renting, uh, without, I should say, without using any kind of credit card, entering any kind of credit card information to begin with, just to try it, to see how well this will work for you.